Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to add Firestore rules to your Flutterflow project. So as you can see, we have a few collections here. We have the users collection. This app has chats, and then we have some other random collection. Um, what Firestore rules allow you to do is, is determine who has access to what documents in what collections. So let's take a look at the settings tab and look at our Firebase rules. So the way we've set this up is for users by default, we allow anyone to read you know, a user's document, but only the user themselves can create or update that document. You know, you don't want some other user being able to edit your uh, user document. Um, similarly, we have some more advanced rules for chats and chat messages that make sure that um, a user can only view the chat messages in a chat that they're in and can only edit a chat that they are in. Um, so these three we take care of for you automatically. Um, and for any others, um, right now we just configure it so that anyone can read and write them. But depending on your needs, you may need to edit these uh, to something more appropriate. So if you want to actually use these rules, it's, it's actually pretty easy. So just copy them here. And all you have to do now is go to your Firebase project, go into your Firestore database, into rules. And this tab right here is where you determine all of your rules. So we already have these as well, but let's go ahead and paste. And it's as simple as that. Publish. And now all of our default rules are set for you. So, you know, we've set these rules for users, chat, chat, mes chat messages, and then this other collection. And note, of course, you know, we have this warning to make sure that this is properly configured before you publish your app um, for any other collection. And to see more information on Firestore rules for your other collections, or if you want more advanced rules, um, you can simply go here. Uh, we've added the link to the video, um, getting started with cloud Firestore security rules. And there's some nice videos and documentation here uh, that'll walk you through how to set some of that stuff up. Um, that's all there is to it. Thanks. See you next time.